Brethren, be greeted in the name of Jesus. Welcome again to our 11th session of our Bible study. Obedience is a way to go. Shall we bow our heads to pray? pray. We humble ourselves before you, Lord. We give all the honor and the glory unto you. This is the moment where we interact with you. I pray, Almighty God, that you be with us in this session. Guide us and lead us for your kingdom's sake. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Once again, brethren, I've already welcomed you. Today is our 11th session. We're talking obedience. Why obedience will draw us closer to God. When we obey, there is an assurance that we can walk with God. There is no way that we can come into a close relationship with the Lord, walk fully in the blessings and enjoy communion with him. The way in which our spirit desires without obeying him. Obedience is like a code. The code that you have to unlock a safe in your house. If you forget a code, you will never unlock the safe. And you will never access what is inside the safe. So in actual fact, the kingdom of God and the blessings that are inside that safe need a code to unlock it. So our obedience to God unlocks the blessings of God. So without obedience, you are in touch with the Lord, but you are denying yourselves the blessings that God has in store for you. And therefore, it is very important and very critical that you have to understand that as a child of God, the only way you can walk with God in a very close relationship is when you obey. God is looking for not only clinching a bride, but to a working partner. From the very beginning, God had a relationship with Adam and Eve. That found them walking in the garden, in the cool of the day. God was enjoying that friendship and relationship, walking together with them. God created a man for the enjoyment and working relationship with him. And this involved companionship. It involves dialogue with the Lord. It involves intimacy with the Lord. And above all, it also enjoy a joint decision making. You interact with the Lord and you decide with the Lord. And above all, it also involves a mutual delight and shared dominion. So when we are obedient to God, we are in dominion. We have got all what it takes as a child of God and above all, as a person Believing in the Lord. God longs to walk with you. Which is why his arms of grace have been pulling you into a closer walk with him. Today I want to focus on how Abram or Abraham walked closely with God by obeying or by being obedient to God. When you read Genesis chapter 17, verses 1 to 2, it says, When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I'm God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. God is making a promise to Abraham to walk before him fully and be blameless. And if Abraham or Abraham respond or obey the Lord, then the God is saying he will increase his numbers. And these are the blessings that God has in store for Abraham. Now, Abraham, when he responded to God, Based on the promise, 
we find in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 8. When Abram, by faith, when God called to a place, when God called him to a place, he would later receive as his inheritance. Abram obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. But to quote Hebrews 11 verse 8 precisely, it says, By faith, Abram, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. But he obeyed the Lord. He knew that God is not a sign of man that he should lie. What God has promised will definitely be fulfilled. And from the two portions of scriptures that we have just read, it is evident that obedience is the key to Abraham's life. He doesn't miss the key. He knows that the code to unlock the blessings of God and above, to live in the promise of God, is by being obedient to him. And that is why what we read from the two portions of scriptures, Genesis and Hebrews, Abraham's life is centered around obedience. And point number two, God called him to be perfect at the age of 99 when the body was already dead. See how God works miraculously. When Abram thought that his body is dead, God revived him and rejuvenated him to say this is the beginning of many more things to come in your life. And when you read Romans 4, verse 19 to 20, it reads, Without weakening his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. You know, Abraham lived for God through obedience. And by being obedient, the glory of, he wanted God to shine through him. And God can shine through you. When you become obedient, God enjoy his communion and above all, his work with you. From what we have learned from the life of Abraham, it is evident that there is no way that we can come into a close relationship with the Lord, walk fully in the blessings and enjoy communion that our spirit desire without obeying him. Jesus, in the gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verse 10, says, If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. So in other words, Jesus is saying, for us to be in close relationship, to be in love with him, we must keep his commands. So, beloved, there is no other way. There is no shortcut of the blessings of God. It's all about the code. It's all about the blessings. And when you read First John chapter 1, verse 7, it reads, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all our sins. So what an assurance of obedience. That when we obey, we are in fellowship with one another. Obedience is a way of life. There is no way we can in, be in a fellowship without the blood of Jesus, without being obedient, without walking in the light. We all know the song that says, so walk in the light, so walk in the light. I'm inviting you at this session. 
Make an introspection of your own life and begin to check whether is the code still in your mind. Can you access that safe wherein there are blessings installed or you choose to forget? God has all what it takes for you. Open up. Be obedient. Close the gap and walk in communion with him. Just like Abraham, who chose to live by being obedient, understanding that God will never leave him nor forsake him. Shall we bow our heads and pray? Almighty God, we thank you once again. We give all the honor and the glory unto you. We thank you for your word, that every day you remind us Many of us are scattered all over. Many of us are living a life of doom. We keep on complaining because we have forgotten the code. We are not being obedient to you. And we are missing a lot in life. I pray that you open our minds and our hearts so that we begin to understand that there is so much in store for us. All what we must do is to obey and do what God expects of us. This we ask and we believe. In Jesus' name, our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, brethren. God loves you. I love you. Take care. And have a blessed day. Stay in his presence. Amen.